Hello everybody, I'm Cameron Micka on the Microsoft Mesh team, and today I want to talk about how you might optimize your 3D content for Microsoft Mesh. Optimizing 3D content is difficult, and knowing exactly what to optimize is even harder. Luckily, we have a few tools within Microsoft Mesh to help you out. So normally when creating your own custom environments, there's three steps. First step is authoring your content in Unity. Second is uploading to Microsoft Mesh. And third is actually running your content within Mesh Browser. In the first step, we recommend you use the Content Performance Analyzer, or CPA for short. This Unity Editor tool will automatically audit your content and tell you what might be slow. In the third step, we have the Visual Profiler, which is a nice tool that overlays right over top of your content and shows you if you're hitting your target frame rate and other interesting stats about your content. So, Without further ado, let's jump into a live demo and I can talk more about these tools in action. All right, now that we're in Unity, you can see we have this beautiful environment made by our art team. And the art team's already gone through the trouble of creating everything and we're ready to upload to Microsoft Mesh. So to do that, I'm gonna open up the Mesh Uploader. I've already have the environment selected I wanna upload and I'll simply hit the Build and Publish button. When I do this, performance will automatically be audited to make sure everything is running as optimal as possible. But you can see we got a failed message. So something isn't running as well as it could be. Let's figure out what this might be. To do that, I'm going to close the results window, go to Mesh Toolkit, click on the Content Performance Analyzer, and dock this window over here next to the inspector. You can dock it wherever you want, but that's my favorite spot. You can see here I have a list of all the analyzers available. I'm going to hit Run All in the top right to run all these analyzers and see what might be failing. So you can see most of the analyzers passed. I got one warning, but then I have one red failure. Let's drill down into this to see what might be going on. If I expand the texture size analyzer and go to the report and expand the issues, I have one issue that it's reporting. And it says that light map compression should be set to low quality. It even gives me a mitigation step to fix this, which I can do by hand, or I can simply click the click to fix one of one issues button. Let's try doing that. So if I click this button, it will automatically fix the issue it reported and rerun the test. Now we're passing, so we should be good to upload our content. But while I'm in here, let's take a peek at this texture sizes analyzer and see what else it can show you. So it will report issues. It will also tell you how much texture memory you're using and provide you a list of all the textures your scene is utilizing and sort them from biggest to smallest. So for example, I can see this VFX gal galaxy texture is 5.3 megs and 4 by 2K in size. You may have noticed the first time I ran the CPA tool, that not all of these analyzers actually ran. We have three analyzers called Mesh Complexity, Scene Complexity, and Web Slate that say they require play mode. We want to make sure we run these as well. So to get them running, let's hit play in Unity. Once our scene's playing, we can hit the run all button immediately. But before we do that, one great thing about play mode is we can analyze performance from multiple vantage points. And to do that, we need cameras in our scene to represent those vantage points. Now, we could place these cameras manually, which is often recommended if you know where your users are going to be standing and what they're going to be looking at. But if you're unsure where to place these cameras, the CPA tool will do this automatically for you. So to do that, all you need to do is hit the Auto Add button. When I do that, it automatically places a few cameras in the scene based on the walkable space your environment has. So now that I've got a handful of cameras in my scene, I'm going to hit the Run All button again and see how everything performs. You'll notice the camera quickly moves from vantage point to vantage point as it analyzes everything from different angles. So luckily, I'm mostly green across the board except a few warnings. Now, since I have two warnings, I want to drill down into those and see what the issues might be. In this particular example, you can see this content may be generating too many batches. 
From here, I could look at which cameras are generating the most batches in this list that sorts them from largest to smallest. In this example, this camera angle is generating a little too many batches, which is roughly standing in this corner, looking in this direction. This might be something I want my art team to, to optimize, or I might want to take a few things out to help reduce batches. Up until now, we've been using the Content Performance Analyzer to rationalize performance, but we have a second tool you can use while playing called the Visual Profiler. To open up that tool, all you need to do is press V on your keyboard. Once the Visual Profiler is up, you can walk around your scene to see how the statistics of your performance change in real time. So in the top left-hand corner, I can see my, my frame rate, which is around 60 frames a second right now, which is good. And as you look around the scene, you can also see how the number of batches, draw calls, and triangles change based on what you're looking at. Right now, most of these numbers are green, which is a good thing. But anytime they turn red, that should alert your attention that something might be below our recommended performance benchmarks. So for example, if I step back here, you can see our batches have climbed above 200 in the range of 215. This tells you this might be a vantage point that you want to check out and further optimize. At the bottom of the visual profiler, we have a few profiler markers that show you how much time different subsystems are taking to update. For example, behaviors are all the scripts running in your scene. Render is how long it takes to actually render your scene. And web slate is how long it takes to render this web slate in this scene. There's other markers as well, which currently don't show any time values, and that's because you don't have any content in your scene that's actually executing this logic. This can be a great tool to kind of figure out uh, what might be slow when actually running your environment. But because we're still in the Unity Editor, it doesn't give you the perfect representation of how long things might take. For that, we need to jump over to Mesh Browser and open up the Visual Profiler there. So now I've jumped over to Microsoft Mesh, and I'm actually playing the environment I just uploaded. From here, I can open up the Visual Profiler by hitting the Menu button, going to Settings, then troubleshooting, and click, clicking Performance Profiler. When I do this, it opens up a similar looking visual profiler right within my scene. You'll notice it doesn't show all the stats it did in Unity because not all profiling markers are available. But I can still get valuable, valuable information such as my frame rate, number of batches, draw calls, and triangle counts. I recommend keeping up the visual profiler when iterating on your content so that you can see just how well everything's performing. And this profiler works not only on PC, but also in MetaQuest as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see all the amazing content our Mesh developers create. And please remember to use the Content Performance Analyzer and Visual Profiler during all stages of development to make your content truly shine. And if you have time, please click the link in the details to learn more about how performance tooling works and like and subscribe. Thank you again.